It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's, whole lot, lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Let me see Monday. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Macy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, teacups, as always, shouts out to you for making it through another week because there is a lot going on. You have Hurricane Ida, you have COVID, COVID Delta, all of this stuff, but you are still here to see another Monday. So shouts out to you because honey, it is hard out here okay so if you are new to my channel please take the time to hit that subscribe button and while you at it hit the bell so you can get notified when i post a video okay thank you and welcome to the zone navy i need all my fellow zone navy members and the new people to hit the thumbs up on this video bust it wide open honey like some of y'all okay Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll get straight on into the stuff. But before I start, I want to give a special shout out to my friend, and that is Lex. Hey, bitch. Lex, thank you so much for having my Twitter notifications on. You were the first to comment on my post, and I just want to say thank you so much for being so supportive. So I am taking the time out to show you appreciation for being there for me. Okay, friend? Hey. Bitch. All right, y'all. And then we got that out of the way. It's been a little mess the week. Honey, the girls is out here messing around and being foolish. So we're going to get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Laena, La Laena, girl, the pregnant girl, and Kim Kaiser. So, child, let me tell you. Mama. Go lay because you out here posting this picture trying to prove a point to us that you've been with this man, I guess, what, five months or so? Because mind you, we was out here saying she was with the man for two months and I got pregnant, so she trying to be funny when really Miss Mamas is being messy, messy, messy to let the girls know, oh, I've been with him, I've been had this, I've been did that. No, girl, what you been did was become a baby mama. What all that? Now, I ain't trying to be shady, but girl, the way you get him is how you gonna lose him. Because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he with some other girl before he was even with this girl? So that means if he was with that other girl before he was with this girl, and this girl been with him for five months, so she say, because I think they've been fucking around. That means he was messing with you while he was messing with her. And then, girl, I guess you must have had the good clap back or the one that got pregnant first. So that's why he left her and came to you. But if she would have got pregnant first, girl, he might have said, well, or maybe he was just trying to figure out where he wanted to be. I don't know. But the point is, girl, you're next in line. I'm just saying, girl, I just don't see it happening, honey. Because the way he dogged his baby mama that he was with for years and said he was never in love with her and all this other stuff, child. <laughs> Good luck to you, boo. This gonna be a short race friend. I'm fine. But anyway, if you look at the picture, she was like, this is our first picture that was on March. And then she said, no, I lied. It was in February. Girl, <laughs> you thought you ate that. <laughs> you don't go sit down somewhere and miss pick me. Be quiet. These girls be out here happy to become somebody's baby mama. <laughs> Next, I mean, if that's the new thing, I don't want it. So since she done came out, she let the girls know that she did not get pregnant in two months. She got pregnant in five months. Y'all need to get off her back, honey, and let her do her thing and have this baby in peace, okay? So, all right. If it ain't about me, how long do y'all think it's gonna be before she be single with the baby? Next, next for the sugar honey ice tea, we have Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Jordan. Now, Jordan, you've been gone for a little minute. And I was starting to think, okay, she done got it together. But then, 
she, this girl takes to her Twitter and she says, Lord, I ask that you watch over my son. Then she goes on and she says, this shit right here had me crying all motherfucking night. <laughs> God damn it, Jordan. I know this heifer didn't use a TikTok meme. I have a question. When y'all got out of the car the other day and my old man was right here, why would y'all being rude? Because that right there made him cry all motherfucking night. Bitch, if you don't go away, <laughs> I know damn well you didn't take the time to tweet that. And did you look at it and think about it before you tweet it and be like, you know what? This seems a little funny and not serious. Bitch, you ought to be slapped. Maybe the daddy need the child. Hashtag bring back Junior. Bitch, you're acting like you don't know where he is. We know where he is. He went to daddy. I looked at it and was like, oh, they done killed the baby. God forgive me for saying that. But how she came about it, I'm like, what the happened to the baby? Where the baby come to find out the daddy done took the baby on his cut on the cousin live or some shit like that. Like she act like she just don't know where the baby is. Bitch, get off of Twitter. We can't do shit for you. Get off of Twitter. Why you telling us? Call the police and say my baby daddy done took my child last time I seen that he was on live with his cousin and they done booked it somewhere. What the fuck we gonna do? Hashtag bring back Junior. <laughs> they need to take Junior away from both you crazy niggas. That's what they need to do. I was up crying all night. <laughs> Somebody slap this woman. <laughs> I miss my baby. I just want my son. Girl, how long was he gone? Two, two, two hours. Well, has it been 48 hours yet? Can we, can we file him as a missing person <laughs> Jordan! Oh my God, this is not funny. This is not funny because this is a woman's child. I understand this woman's child is gone. The man took the baby. She don't know what the baby is in for. I mean, bitch, <laughs> you got to fight with the baby. Went to jail with the baby in your stomach. What more can that baby go through? That baby gets traumatized. That baby has been through some shit before he even entered this world. I bet the baby's probably like, please, somebody take me away from it. Oh my God, he in shit with the mama. He can take it from the daddy. He was in jail before he could even talk. Oh Jesus, what else she the damn wrote? A fan was like, he was just on live with his cousin. I think they headed to Belusa Lug or whatever the fuck they said. Well, how the hell they know where he going? <laughs> you don't even know. Because you too busy tweeting, bring back Jordan, Junior, Justin, Jordan, whatever the fuck. Bring back him when you should have been watching what the fuck they watching. Then she gonna say, who was on live? When was this? I need my baby ASAP. Well, you don't want them too fast if you ain't found no report with the police officers and you talking to us. The hell, like I said, the hell we gonna do? Lord, have mercy. I bet the baby like, look, let me run away on my own. Can I go stay with Nana? <laughs> let me go with Nima. <laughs> All right, well, I hope the baby got home. I hope everybody's good. How do you get the baby anyway? Did you, did you take the baby to get dropped off with the banana and then he took the baby some shit? Did he go out? Fuck it. If it ain't about me, please bring this girl her baby next case. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Young Blue and Shauna, Shawana Phillips. We're gonna just call her Shauna. Child, I don't know what the hell is going on with y'all people and taking these folks children, but stop taking these folks children without their permission. So, child, here go another missing baby. Blue done went to his Facebook, but I don't know why the hell y'all keep coming to us trying to help get your children back. We can't get your children. We're not the fat, and we're not the police. So, please stop coming to us telling us to get your children. Get your own child. So, he went on Facebook, and he said, I got $2,500. To ever consider the location of Shawana Phillips and Corbin. And I'm like, nigga, if you don't know the location, how the fuck we supposed to know the location? 
We don't know where she at. That's your baby mama. So anyway, he did go on and he said, she took Corbin after I let her see him for her mama's funeral and she refuses to give him back. But that sounds like a personal issue. I sent 1,500 just for Corbin to go with her a couple of days ago. He doesn't live with her and I haven't asked her for anything. She has been kid free for two years, but she wants to blame me for where she is in life. Demanding money and agreement if he's not returned. But when she sees it, she's gonna go and make up lies justifying why she took him. But I have receipts with her bribing me, asking me for money. So I'm just like, okay, this is sad. Cause you know, a man you doesn't get of the other child is always a woman. So maybe the girl really do got mental issues, whatever case may be, woo, woo, woo. So then when she come out, I ain't gonna lie, mama read him for filth. She let him have it, but she never said why she took the child or anything about the kidnapping. She just read him for points. Blue, why you out here lying to these folks out here trying to diminish my name? I have mental issues. Tell these folks you the one that really got the mental issues. We both know ain't a damn thing wrong with me, so go ahead and take your meds and peace. Before I call them people on you, you're known for playing the victim. Same way you blasted Gainesville's police department, but then you had to turn around and apologize to them knowing your license was suspended. And I was like, oh child, she did get him there because honey, he was out here running his mouth, whooping and hollering, just acting like he was just in the right. When honey come to find out, he knew his license was suspended. So he had to apologize for even making them folks look like they was trying to be racist. But now you out here trying to make like she kidnapped this child and she did so and so and so and so. She got mental issues. But how can we come and believe you 100% when you just pulled this other stunt? Let's keep reading what she said. Your retarded, rolling braid looking ass can't even spell. <laughs> You was in special ed. And I'm like, damn, sis. And then for her to put that picture, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? We just want to know, did you take the child? Did you kidnap the child? You out here calling this man retarded. You ain't even supposed to say that word. That word is forbidden. But she said that. Then she turned and said you was in special ed. And you're looking like, bro. I'm like, Sus is really bad. You really out here talking a lot of shit for someone who doesn't take baths and has a bed bug infestation. I'm like, well, damn. Didn't you have a child with this nigga that looked like Roland Red got bed bugs and don't take baths? So if he did all this now, wasn't he doing that with you? So if he got bed bugs, bitch, you was getting bit too when you was laying down making this baby. So what you really saying is you got all this shit. So it, you reading him, but you're reading yourself. But anyway, nigga walking around with his head looking like a large McDonald's fry. Well, bitch, you had a McNugget with that large McDonald's fry. <laughs> what the fuck? You out here trying to downplay him. Like, sis, don't do that now, girl. We just want to know, did you take the child? Did you kidnap the child? Why you bribing him for money? You answered everything but what we need you to answer. You read him, you talked about him, you called him retarded, talked about the big bugs, but did you take that child? Did you bribe him for that money? That's what we want to know. That's what we need to get down to. And if you're not going to talk about it, next, can we talk to the church? Let them tell us what's going on, because they're going to tell the truth. Can Corbin talk? Can um Junior talk? We need to talk to them, because y'all doing a whole lot of, whole lot of nothing. If it ain't about me, somebody come take these babies. Next case. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Soulja Boy and Chris Brown versus Kanye. Now, child, after waiting a century for this album to finally drop, it is so much mess behind this album. I mean, from promising people you gonna put them on and don't put them on, from putting people on without permission, to dragging the release date, marrying Kim, then you flying up to heaven like your soul's just been saved and sanctified and filled the Holy Ghost, burning on fire, having 20,000 CD release parties. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? So, Soldier Boy comes out and Soldier Boy says, I don't know how to feel. Kanye sent me the song Remote Control. And I don't hear my verse on it. Hmm, fuck that now. This nigga Kanye tell homie don't hit my phone no more. And everybody know when Soldier Boy start talking, receipts gonna start flying. So he kept going and he said, this nigga Kanye is weird as fuck. Fuck that nigga Kanye with. This track coming soon. I'm tired of sparing this clown ass nigga. So then after that he shows, the Texas and people was like, oh, that's not real, that's fake. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, oh, but he does. Did y'all forget when he texted the baby? 
when he was trying to release the baby song Jail Part 2 on the album, but he was saying that his record label was not giving him the release to do that on his album. So then he texted him and had them spaces between it, but then the record label came up and said, no, we didn't get no text from him. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Baby, why wouldn't we have the baby on a song that we know is gonna do good? So I'm like, well, who's telling the truth? Did you not text him or did you text him, Kanye? Did you tell Soulja Boy you gonna put him on there? Did you not? Then all of a sudden, here come Chris Brown talking about some Kanye a whole ho. No, he tweaking. I'm like, well, what the fuck did he do to Chris? You know, but I love Chris and I'm gonna stick beside him. I think Kanye, see, he's smart. He was fucking with Miss Chris Jenner and he know how to do this scam 101. I think he done got with these folks told him to do this, to bring hype around Dunda. That's what I think, because ain't no damn way! Ain't no way! You done did that, Chris Brown. Now, so the boy, I can believe it, but Chris Brown, I don't believe it. But then you turn around and you snap on your own record label, said they released the album before you even had the baby thing clear. So you mad at them, you know what, it's all at this point, Donda man, because you didn't put her picture on the damn album cover. You put the black thing. Donda! Can we talk to you? Did he tell you he was gonna let you? Did he tell you he was gonna put your album and now it's black? What the, what the fuck going on? She's messy. Kanye is being mad. Then Soulja Boy came back and he said, Tell this nigga Kanye stop calling my phone. So I'm guessing Kanye calling him, whatever the case may be. He said, That's why Kim left your bipolar ass. Now, <laughs> Soulja Boy, come on, relax. This nigga Kanye so pussy, lame ass nigga thought he could be president goofy. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, somebody take this man phone. Take his phone. Soulja Boy is cutting the fuck up. Take, nigga, it's okay to be left. How you mad? That you left off somebody else's album, relax, sir. <laughs> this is not even your shit. Soldier Boy done hit one of these lines, and he is geek up, and he is out here acting a fool. Soldier Boy, relax. It's um, it's okay. People get left off songs every day. As Asian doll. <laughs> I didn't mean that like that. Anyway, at this point, I really believe the record label is conjuring up all this. To push it, you know, it kind of smart as shit. If it ain't about me, let's keep keen. Okay. Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Tootsie and Shay London. So, child, they done called the woman. Mind you, he still got the girl phone number in his phone. Why you got her phone number in your phone, Tootsie? Why is her number in your phone? And then when they call this heifer, she picks up and she don't even say, Who is this? She says, Hello. Oh, nigga, y'all been talking. Y'all. Been fucking around. Hello, like nigga, what's up? Why are you so comfortable picking up the phone and just say hello? Hello, hey. How long was y'all kicking it? Me and Shorty. Mm -hmm. So boom, we had. I won't lie, it, it, was, it was some time. It was a little minute. I don't know. I don't be. You know, I brought. You was feeling her. Oh, because uh, she messed it up. Call her. Back. Yeah, I'm about to call her real quick. Like, <laughs> nah, I <ain't> done it. <laughs> she, 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 can I, uh, let me just ask you a question. I don't want to say your name, right? Because I'm live on this podcast right now and I'm sitting here, I'm interviewing Tusi, right? Then he just told this story about how this Philly girl crushed his fucking heart and how he thought she was the one and, you know, how he's, he's physically and mentally wounded from Philadelphia women now all because of you. <laughs> you turned him he out. Said, this is a joke. This is a joke. I fucked him up sexually. Yeah, he People said that. He fucked me up mentally, so I just fucked him up a different way. Now, child, I don't know what y'all think, but something ain't right with this situation, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna make a mess. It ain't none of my business. He said he like his girl. He with his girl. He made it known. I got a girl. I'm with my girl. Like, as Did y'all ever reconnect and kick it? Y'all ain't that you. Nah, 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 nah. Hell nah, nah. I got a girl, girl now. Nah, nah, I ain't talking about, I ain't yeah, talking nah, about nah, I'm saying I got a girl Before now. then, before yeah, nah, the girl. That's what I'm saying. I got a girl now. But I feel like when people be doing that, they trying to cover their tracks. But child, anyway, so then the girl go on her Instagram and she put these questionnaires up there and people ask her questions. And some of these questions just coming off real sketchy. So I said, you still talking to him on the low? She said, LOL, I'm not trying to be low. Like, okay, bitch, well, you talking to him on the high? 
<laughs> what the fuck going on? I was his girl, I'm leaving his ass. Do you still fuck with him? And she said, he cool. Like this girl know what she doing. She know exactly what she's doing. So maybe he not fuck with her and maybe she's just doing this to fuck with some average head. But I, girl, at this point, I ain't got time for my games. I ain't know what the hell going on. Either y'all finna cut this off now or what the fuck going on? So, so then she answers more questions and more questions. Somebody else says, y'all still fuck with each other now. She said, he cool. Bitch, that was a yes or no question. Do you still fuck with him now? Yes or no? He cool. Bitch, you know what? You want to get slapped. I will spit in your mouth since he didn't. He did too. You know what? At this point, this hoe on her ass will smile. You a good one. Anyway, one nothing else said, child, this man talked about how this girl messed him up and she did this, but then you talk about how you were in music for Samara J and you ain't got time for music because you, you got a girlfriend and you focused on that. But this girl hurt your heart, child. You know what, this gonna be around too. Okay. It is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. All right, child, that's all I got for the Shigani Ice Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, we have Jack Boy versus Kodak Black. I am speechless about this because these two are friends and nobody wins when the family feuds. Like that is crazy to me. Um, they were on live and from what I'm getting, they were fussing about some money issues that has been going on behind the scenes and then also who's the best Haitian rapper. But child, hey, it is what it is. It's what these men want to do. Let these men do what these men want to do. But it's very much giving me Carisha and Santana at this point. So, so Man. Did I whoop you? Hey, did I whoop hey, you when we was just rapping your song? I whoop you when we was just rapping your hey, song? No, 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 did I beat no, 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 no. you up rapping your own song before? Did I beat you up rapping your own song before? Did I beat you up rapping your own song before? You talking about get in the or pay somebody? That's what that's what you do. You talking about set set it off so I can set it off. Hey, listen, that look, he ready to be so Instagram with it. <laughs> Man, get off my. You signed me for one album, Kodak. One album. So when you, I told you, you can lead the horse. Hey, this one horse blamed you. I, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't force the horse to drink. Yeah. Fuck me. That's why you blocked me the first time. He said, I made you. No, you look, look, what type of want to be signed to you? What type of want to be signed to you? You lame, like. He said, we the reason we met. You lame. So that reason, so nigga, beat him up. Go eat some food first. I'm telling you, I don't want to kill you all. I still love you. I got all type of love for your mom. I don't care what you say. That's still my godson. That's still my godson. You got to beat his daddy up. That's all. You be like, look, can I gotta get your daddy in a little quick headlock? I still love, that's still my godson. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, you my I'm a beat you so like I've been doing, like I've been did. You tripping. You talking about you made me. How? Whoa, well, bro. When I got out of jail, I had ten thousand dollars to my name. How you made me because you tagged me on Instagram. You tagged me on Instagram. I got six hundred K followers with ten bands to my name. How you made me? When you went to jail, I made millions. You was the problem. You're talking about you talking about pull up. You got a hundred. You got a hundred protect you you not there listen tag trailer tag trailer get in the ring i'm gonna pull up to trailer ring i'm gonna get in there and whoop you i'm gonna whoop you you got a hundred protect you you not doing oh pull up you not oh i'm not stupid i'm smart that's the difference between me and you look at you man man you, man you man you, you a hater bro. that's good bro. It's so much other that to compete with. You ain't no soldier. You pit man. I I'm glad I ain't was around. Then Donald Trump let you out on some wild boy. Boy, you ain't about to sacrifice me, boy. I ain't hanging around. Here. You talking about pull up? I don't want to hang out with you, boy. You wanna? You ain't about to suck nah. none. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm not making love, man. He said, I showed DJ how to steal a car. You remember when I was stealing cars? You said you didn't want to hop in? What is he talking about? You remember when I was stealing cars? You didn't want to come in with me? Kodak, tell him that. When I stole a car, you said, no, nah, I don't want to come in. First, you stealing cars out the hood. What I did, what I did, what you did in that project, baby. 
every video, sitting in the car at the corner store. That was what I did. You ain't even do that. Okay, now bitch, I am on both their sides. Cause Jack boy look like he bite. Hold that back, look like he bark. So bitch, I don't want no problems. <laughs> okay? No what really gagged me was when Jack was like, look, nigga, I'm not getting sacrificed for you. I'm not finna meet you, nigga. I ain't crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga finna kill you? It's an Illuminati real? And I'm over here thinking like, this man defended Kodak so much with NBA Youngboy. Now look at this shit. But wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, let me go back in my notes. Didn't they say the first chance Kodak Black got... He was back cool with NBA and was throwing salt on Jack Boy's name. And they said the only reason that Jack Boy was defending Kodak was because NBA's camp was smashing Jack Boy's girl. Oh, see, it's a whole lot of whole lot of oh, these men be so messy. See, I don't know if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments, y'all. It just be so much going on. I can't even keep up. You know, sometimes I may stumble and fumble. But bitch. One thing I do know, real is real, and right now these niggas ain't real. But child, I don't know. Ooh, I thought it was like Batman and Robin. <laughs> but, ooh, okay, well. Mm, 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 mm. This is really sad. People was in the comments talking about some. You can't change on the folks who put you on, but I guess maybe they really mad behind the scenes because how you go to jail, beefing with NBA, but then come out and then y'all cool. I don't know. Maybe it's see, you know, it's a lot. All right, whatever. If it ain't about me, let's get keeping. Okay. Next one, Ducket. We have being so famous versus. Child, mama ate his ass up from the beginning to the middle to the end. See, Corey got to charge into the game because it's king and it'll never be the same. Most Hispanic people gonna go out and grab before a black person would. Now y'all tell me who won. Bitch, bitch, bitch. been talking about black women for the longest. Because you got money don't make you better than nobody. Known Corey was gonna come out and start barking, honey, because that's all Corey would do. Bark, 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 bark. I don't even know who the girl is. I swear to God, I don't. But I haven't heard the song, but I think I know people just said something about I hate black we, women. We on the same. Yeah, I know for all my people that got coming since I know y'all tired of. It was like at this point, if you still saying that Corey hate black women. You part of the problem. That's just simple as it get. You know what I'm saying? Like you are part of the problem. Now, Corey, you want to sit here and say that we are part of the problem because you, out of your mouth, say the things you say about the black women. We didn't tell you to go on live and say it's always you black women that be in my DMs talking down on Corman. You be doubting black women to uplift your woman, and that's not right. Granted, yes, it might be black women in your DMs, but you are a black man, so you're going to have black followers, so those black followers are going to get upset when you cheat on your woman, regardless of whatever her race is, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, black, yellow, green, purple, they going to take up for that woman. They're going to say then, they're going to say, oh, that woman's crazy for still dealing with your black ass because you've cheated on her numerous of times or you did her wrong numerous of times. So they're going to get in your DMs and say that because you are putting your life on social media. So they're going to be in your DMs, your black followers, because you are a black man. So if you didn't get on here and say, oh, it's always black women who ain't got nothing or their hair is like this and they jealous as Cormac got her eyelashes always did. It's like you're belittling black women for your woman. Period. Then he gonna try to throw shade at this girl and call her Big Binks, knowing her name. <laughs> she is, she's the thicker woman. So he threw shade right there, but Johnny K, he said, what's her name? Big B, Big Bink. But all right, let me go see can I find this shit. What was her name, y'all? I don't even know, Big Rink. What is it, Big Rink? 
her name Big Rink, I think. Let me see, Big Rink. Bitch, you know her name was Bink so famous. Talk about what's her name? Big Binks, Big Beat. <laughs> yeah. So, that's a girl, man. I don't. She did her thing though. It's a YouTube thing. Y'all be tweeting shit. I bless, I bless more black women than any goddamn thing, so how would I not like black women? He goes on his nonsense rants like he always do. Corey, I love him. He is so fine to me, y'all. But Corey be a little off sometimes. Y'all just got to be with Corey because sometimes Corey says some stuff and I don't think he know what he's saying to after he says it. So anyway, they go live. Listen, you said a Hispanic person will go out and work before a black person. I feel I don't be on that. They're obligated. I feel like sometimes I say I know what I mean in my because everybody know me. I, it's gonna I come off wrong. It's gonna it come, come off wrong, wrong no matter me. what. So Corey, you just said what we was trying to get you to understand. You said sometimes I say I be thinking something and when I say it, it's said the wrong way. So nigga, we're not the problem. Think about your shit before you say it, Corey. Oh my God! See, she even told a nigga you talk stupid sometimes, and then he gonna try to say she want him. Girl, I'll beat your ass, flirt with another woman in front of my face. I'm up fucking lying. Don't be. Why you post that screenshot talking about some I love you? Listen. You I love me. That's, you love when me. I, when you when I sent that message, you know I really genuinely thought you was going through some that gun in your head and shit. So I genuinely thought you was going through. Some, you posted that talking about some. She talking about some shit love. But no, you gotta understand. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep. Next case. Next one, okay? It's Summer Walker versus London on the track. Erica and Eddie, which are his two baby mamas. Summer, as always, goes on the social media. And she put their business out like always. We would never know shit if she wouldn't get on that damn backup page and post shit. So she goes on there and she talks about London and she says, London is going around DMing everyone around me because he is blocked. He is telling him, if y'all care about Summer, get that nigga away from her. So if anything happens to me, it was him, ghetto baby daddy from hell. She then goes and she says, I never call him unless it's anything about the child. I've been doing this on my own. I haven't called you in two months because you ain't been doing nothing. You need to stop threatening people and tell them thank you, weirdo. So I'm guessing he's calling her because she's moved on. He's threatening a new boyfriend. He's threatening her, allegedly. Woo, woo, woo. I've been trying so hard to mind my business, but niggas be pressed. <laughs> she so she closes it off with, and come get this car. I don't want nothing from you. And this shouldn't even pay for. I like my cars pay off. I'm like, well, God damn. He ain't paid them all. All them damn songs he done did. But it, 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 Anyway, so let's be real. You are dealing with what you was doing to the baby mamas. They was trying to tell you this man was no good. He was deadbeat. He was not a good father. And you was going to be dealing with all this bullshit. But you was going at them like, nah, y'all just jealous. Y'all mad. Y'all this. Y'all that. Woo, woo, woo. And now you sound exactly how they sound when they was trying to save you from the bullshit, but you thought they just didn't want you to be with him. Clearly, I mean, I feel they didn't want you to be with him because I, I do feel, you know, when niggas got babies, mamas, they may not be with the baby mama, but there be this connection with baby mamas and baby daddies, honey. Um, But anyway, now you going through what they was going through. So then London comes out and he was like, hey, I'm trying to spare her, you know, because of her mental issues, but Shadi is lying. Like, girl, show the receipts of me DMing who, calling who, threatening who. And on top of that, child, my new girl ain't going for that. So it's like, okay, we need to know you had a new girl. Are you saying you got a new girl because she got a new nigga? Like, what the fuck? So you kind of made what she was saying real, but then I'm like, okay, well maybe he might be right. So I'm a doobie coming on the internet saying, hey, y'all leave me alone, stay out my business, but then you put your business out there, then you do crazy stuff for people to talk about. It's like, what is it? What you want us to do? So then he goes and says, the shit about the truck was cute. While you had it, put the jury in the armrest. I almost the shit from me. <laughs> Damn, she ain't mentioned that jury though. Girl, put that jury in the <laughs> Put that jury in the armrest. You just said the truck. Love, she said she didn't talk about that. <laughs> then he said, girl, shit, you still making payments on that ass? 
He said, girl, you still making payments on the ass and titties shit. Talking about the fucking truck. If y'all know that ass, you got to figure out how you going to pay that shit. <laughs> At least I was paying for the damn truck. Shit. I might have paid that motherfucker <laughs> if you was acting right. Good God almighty, was well, it? Where's all the money at? You done made all these songs. He done produced these songs. Y'all can't pay for shit. What y'all paying off? I'm a YouTuber. My shit paid off. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And so then he ends off with when you and me both know that I can buy five Teslas. Which well, y'all just pay that damn. <laughs> pay that damn car off. Why did he pay it off? Oh, no, maybe. I don't know. Fuck. So then he said, well, all that deadbeat shit is capped because everybody around me know I take care of my kids. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotta, gotta, gotta. So then here comes Ebony. And I'm like, oh, shit. It's about to go down. What's she finna say? So Ebony said, someone over there talking all that monkey shit about London. Don't y'all fall for that. And I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> Back up, son. You. Who was talking that same shit when she first got with him? Talk about he was this, he was that, he ain't no good, don't take care of the kids, woo woo woo. But now, he, you know what? See how the baby mamas do you? She just met her, her mentality stuck on stupid and ungrateful. Nobody even knew this stripper bitch before London made her. Wait a minute, calm down, baby mama, calm down. Y'all still fucking up what? That's what we need to, is y'all fucking her off. Because ain't no way you go from this to this. This little nasty bitch trying to make it seem like he not taking care of his kids when the case is he just don't want you. Oh yeah, they fucking. They fucking ain't no way she go from dissing him like that to now I'm talking about this. You know what they fucking. So Soma come back out and she says, "Money, you are a narcissistic. You are a pathological liar. This could all be so simple if you would just stop sending threats to people around me and worry about what we got going on over here. Just take care of your baby. And then she goes to Ebony and say, Ebony girl, hush, go take your meds. You was just crying for two years about him not being there for your kid. Ebony's a mess. She a mess. Cause I feel like Ebony, you was just mad at him when they was together. I just feel you wanted him to yourself. That's just what I feel. But let's keep reading. And hey, here come the other baby mama, Erica, putting this up, talking about don't like a dead beat to me. Bitch, you was talking the same shit. Oh, y'all, oh, y'all teaming up. Oh, y'all fight, honey. Yeah, y'all was jealous. Y'all was jealous. They doing her like she was doing them. That's what I think is going on. She was really playing in their face when she was having him before she was pregnant. Like, yeah, bitch, he mine. Y'all just made him with me. And I think they trolling her back and let her see what it feel like. Now, welcome to the team, sis. That gotta be it. Because ain't no motherfucking way y'all taking up for this man when y'all was just doing the same fucking shit when she got with him. I, it just don't sit right with me. I have to get on live because I don't have any of your numbers and I don't want any of your numbers and none of y'all have my numbers. It has changed. I don't bother y'all. I am so unpro unproblematic. Hold up! Summer. <laughs> now I'm with you, girl, but unproblematic? Nah, so you, my dear, are messy. Okay, don't, don't play that radio, but I'm gonna let you keep going. Listen. Public service announcement. Erica, Ebony, London, they don't bother me. Leave me alone. Y'all was terrorizing me for two years, bro, because I was with them. I gave him back. I gave him back. For the same, I gave him back. For the same reasons y'all were terrorizing me for two years. Oh, let me, oh, let me, uh, eh, uh, uh. I tried as best as I could to keep him involved with his children's lives. And y'all tried to blame me for it. I have nothing to do with it. But now that I gave him back, why are y'all still with me? Leave me alone, bro. I don't know. What y'all think this is? But we're not doing this for the next 18 years, bro. 
We're not doing this for the next 18 years. I try to be cool with all y'all. I try to be the big happy family. Try to, you know, have everybody come over for Christmas. Everybody come over for Thanksgiving. I try to do all that shit. I don't want to f*** me. Ebony, you told me I tried to meet you at. You wouldn't meet me. You just wanted to talk for two years. I had him. I said, tell. I told Lynn and I said, bring her here. I want to talk to her. Brought you here. Didn't even tell you. He didn't even tell you I was there. You was mad. And we talked. I'm like, shorty, I had no problem with you. I want to be good. Let's, you know, our kids, they can grow up together. I can't wait till she, parents come over to the playroom, blah, blah, blah. Nah, because you was You still wanted to fight. I don't want to fight any of you. I don't get anything from this. Y'all do. Y'all cloud chasers. I get, I look crazy right now. I get absolutely nothing for from this. I was supposed to have my child, be married like the he would do, and carry on with my career silently. But no, I have to keep dealing with you. Leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to you. Keep me out your mouth. We have nothing to discuss. You told me to leave you alone. You don't want to be on that family. So cool, bro. I have no problem with y'all, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I'm saying one more time. Leave me alone. Me alone. Leave me alone. And as for London, bro, leave me alone too, bro. Leave me alone, bro. It is so funny that I went on a date. I went on a date with 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 uh the stepfather of your child, cause you wouldn't okay, alright? I went on a date and the next day I get all these threats. And Leave me alone. This man out here got all these women going crazy. That's what they say. Be careful who you lay down with. Because when you lay down with them, you start acting like them. They say he the crazy one. Ebony done turned crazy. Erica crazy. And now London crazy. I mean, and now some are crazy. All y'all done slept with this crazy man. He done nutted in you. And now y'all done took off his craziness. Now all y'all just crazy. You can't lay with everybody. Now he is in you. All y'all acting stupid. Ooh, who the next baby mama? If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Okay. Next on the docket, we have Ty Danger versus Kevin Cole and Shot Crazy. Now, I'm going to try to break this down fast because y'all know I hate when people drag so much and start saying so much. It just starts stressing me out. Just get to the point point, say, fuck you, bitch. I don't like you. Oh, you fake fuck ass friend, bitch. When you fall out with somebody. It's a reason why. So leave it like that. You ain't gotta be friends with everybody. Ty goes onto her social media and she says, please stop associating me with people that you no longer see me with. They're not around for a reason. Now the reason she posted that is because somebody had asked Kayla Nicole about the Bondos video. And Kayla responded with, it's not coming out. Fuck Bondos. <laughs> I said, well, damn, what the bundles do? The bundles ain't do, the bundles ain't do shit. You should have said, fuck child. I bet bundles is hurt. So anyway, people start saying what they feel. They say, hey, I feel like it's the Taylor girls. They always beef with people, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then they realize that they had unfollowed each other. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this shit real. And I was thinking, hey, maybe they trying to hype all this stuff up for the bundles video, but child, that got put to a shutdown when the girls kept talking. So then a spectator had said, uh, why y'all always trying to say it's Ty? Why couldn't it be Kayla? And then that's when somebody else responded with, because Kayla brought them the bag, clearly put it in their hand and they fumbled it. That's when Deja said, um, child, Ty just cashed out on the Rolls Royce. Who really got the bag? Bitch, that don't mean shit. <laughs> That just mean you bought a car. I would hope so. Y'all got money, YouTube and rapping money. You better cash out on something. So after Deja had posted that, you know, Ty had just cashed out on a Rolls Royce, they didn't need Kayla for no bag. Kayla went to her story and she posted this. And not only did she do that, she put Ben had, Ben had, Ben had, Ben had, Ben had. And I'm just like, oh bitch, mama just showed. Receipts like, girl, don't come for me. That's a Rolls Royce, girl. I did Mac. I did Buna 3. I had a house. I bought three people cars. I bought my own car. Girl, what is you saying? What is you talking about? Don't come to the Rolls Royce, bitch. I done bought five of them motherfuckers right now in one post. What is you saying? Hello, somebody. And I'm just like, shit, you can brag different with the bag different. Hello, 
girl the girls was being messy girl i said this is about to get real catty because you know the taylor girls love being flashy and fancy honey but one thing about kayla she gonna let you know what she wants you to know so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sit back and watch this because this is really something. So then after she put that bend hand, bend this, big bad, Deja come out and this what she gotta say. I know y'all always think I'm getting into some stand behind my sister. I don't give a about none of that. And that's just what the fuck it is. We blood, period. We're not gonna sit here and keep going back and forth with y'all and anybody else because at the end of the day, y'all been not like the Taylor girls. So it don't matter. Most Taylor girls can have a gold ass plaque to say every fact in the world, y'all still stand behind whoever. I want to stand behind, so that's already you know. At the end of the day, me and my sister were doing just fine, been doing fine since 20 fucking uh, goddamn all, all our mother life, and still doing fine. We're doing better, and I just wish everybody the mother best. Y'all know why y'all not friends, so we don't even have to keep going back and forth with why the who been doing it, who wasn't doing it. We know what we doing right now. We know what's going on right now, so. Everything else is irrelevant. So, more for like, never been a bundles without my sister. Period. Remember that shit. Sit on that shit. But then you just said all that shit is irrelevant. But then y'all keep bringing up Still Your Man. But I ain't gonna lie. Little sister wrote that verse on Still Your Man. That's who I remember. And then you said that y'all are the reason bundles did good. Well, not hating on nobody. But whoever said put so back, you can see it from the back. That's what made the song for me. I, whoever said that, you made bundles, bitch. For so bad, you can see it from the back. Ah, ah, ah. Who said it? Who said it? Cause that, that's put the stamp on bundles, baby. And if it wasn't Deja or Ty, then you didn't make that song. I'm just being real about the situation. And if you said we're not talking about been had, been this, been that, be bad. Then you don't need to be putting up Steal Your Man 2017 this that's that because girl, it's about what you doing right now. Then Kayla said, y'all gotta shut the fuck up. I won't even trip, but all this down to me gotta stop. Like what the fuck? I cut y'all out. So why not just leave it at that? And then she outed that Deja was pregnant. I said, oh, not the baby shower in my face. <laughs> They really must have hit a nerve when they said Ben still currently forever. It ain't about what you got, it's about what you got right now. I said, oh, they don't hit a nerve because this bitch done dropped the motherfucking baby shower every day. I said, oh no, she didn't tell what she was supposed to tell. No, that was petty. Ain't no money been made no, off no, no, no. Ain't no she money said, been made off of At all. None. Not even a dollar. She she said, this money. is what we tried to make some damn money. Girl, no, but no money been I'm made not, on I'm not, like I said. The label took the money. This, what label. I said, this is what I said earlier. And this is no shade. This is all real teeth. I'm not arguing and beefing with no that about 50 mother that are talking to not being insecure on set about. It. Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll really drop some real teeth. Bitch, insecure as fuck. Let's talk about that. So, Why you running your goddamn. What did Jocelyn say? Your dick suckers. <laughs> um anyways the bundles music video is not coming out because girls didn't, have the girls didn't have the budget time as simple as that the girls didn't have the budget they couldn't clear they couldn't pay tiana taylor all the money that's the team they just couldn't get together their team was raggedy point blank period and with looks and everything now i'm just over there like damn why is the boy in it now i get it you know that's your friend you got your friends back but it was just like damn you really talk about the girl insecurities online like that if the girl's insecure and she got problems about how she look everybody got some insecurities just that should have done i even been said but honey i guess there's no rules when you reading the girl and slam the bitch down honey so i mean it is what it is but i feel like it should have been between ty and kayla and deja but hey who am i to say who can jump into what but anyway let's keep going when my music videos they have stylists they have everything up as the artist and do what needs to be done i had to pull all my strength on all of my stylists here's the all that i had to get all my people to get together for the video for it to still not Wait, turn out not right. only that it was just a whole lot of jealous oh yeah her oh, label oh. was very jealous they kept talking about some why That's she why gotta wear chain. why she gotta wear that big chain why she gotta keep because I bought it and I spent a bag on it. If you want your artist to have a chain, buy her one. The f why are you so worried about what the f 
going on. Like I said, if people who didn't hear it, the reason we are not cool and we are not friends is because I felt like I gave a lot to this friendship. And even after she told me not to be this girlfriend, she's jealous of you. Check out because her label want to clear it. Her label been trying to get this song clear even when we wasn't friends. Her, uh, who she was signed to, Polo, kept trying to reach out, trying to get this song cleared. And I never cleared it because I'm, I'm not no fake bitch. I'm not going to get up there and kiki with no bitch I don't like. I... We talked, we got back cool when she got pregnant. We, you know what I'm saying? We put our differences aside. We had our little heart to heart. We was crying with each other. We just shared that moment and I thought everything was good. Everything, I was happy to be back around. We put her on a dinner. We invited out all her friends. Um, You know, we made a real special. Then we did her after party. It was just real lit. She, you know, sent me a message just telling me like, damn, you really, like, you a real friend. Like, I really appreciate you for that. And so, in return to me, I feel like if we real big and you know your, you know, there for you, really going hard behind you, whether we was, uh, whether we fell out or not, that's oh, we've been made amends. So for you to be disrespectful when it's my day, for you to show your love and support to me was just so flawed to me. Like, like you supposed to be the first, big you supposed to be helping put this together. Like, I just don't get that. Like, I just. I don't know. I was built. I was built different. I was raised different. Like I cherish friendships, and that's why I'm always getting hurt in a situation because I be forgetting that these is just friends with you on Instagram. And so what I don't agree about that is if you did something for somebody's birthday out the kindness of your heart, you it should not matter if they didn't return it on your birthday. Now y'all might think different, but if you did it because you genuinely did it and you did it for your friend. Maybe your friend just didn't know how to throw you a party like that. And so you're thinking, hey, I did it for you, so you got to turn around and do it for me. If my friend do something for me, I'm not expecting it in return. If you do it, thank you so much. But if I did it for you, I did it because I wanted to do it, not because I wanted you to turn around and do the same thing for me on my birthday. If you gonna do that, then bitch, don't do shit for me. After um, Ty said what she said, here come Deja. Funny and post <laughs> It's okay. I'm laughing now, but you want to post mother personal mother messages? I'm about to post some personal mother messages. Bitch. You knew that nobody knew what the was going on with me. And so now you done put the cat in the bag. Might as well eat the motherfucking moment up. Thank you for all the motherfucking congratulations and stuff. I'm doing fine. You know, looking better. Titty sitting up you know but it's okay watch this hold on so then they go and they post a message between kayla mama and them and i'm just like oh girl they getting messy they done brought this girl mama in the situation so that's when i guess somebody has sent them something shy has said in the comments that she deleted or whatever the case may be and then ty responds to shy and then i'm gonna address another thing because i feel like that little comment i don't know if she deleted or not but it was a comment that i seen up under there well i don't even follow her my fans sent it to me and screenshotted it um that china said talk about some uh, everybody's successful. Don't know who who want to be Girl. with it or Rolls Royce. You dumb. What the fuck? That's a hating ass comment. That's a hating ass comment. Like we been. First of all, and I'm gonna address this in one time only. Me and you been not on good terms. We been not really like that. Been, you know what I'm saying? Wave the white flag and was just like, you know what? I'll be cordial with this. I invited no, no, you no, no, to no. a couple things here and there, and that was it. We ain't never even been on that type Crazy. of time. Up. So for me, what I don't like, oh, you don't want me to bring up that. But she made that little comment for something that happened off scene, off camera, that y'all don't even know about. This pulled up to my house unannounced, knocking on my door, ringing my doorbell, and, so and was mad that Crazy. I didn't let her in my house. First of all, you don't know my address. I never sent you my address. So for you to pull up in the neighborhood talking about some, oh, this look like uh, where you stay at. Is this where you stay at? I want to come see your house. Bitch, Girl, please do not get on these other other comments playing with me. me. I just cannot stand that y'all motherfucking comments playing with me, bitch. I will post a fucking video from our, uh, my mother. What we got, ring, whatever we got. So, baby, that's when Sha said, oh, okay, girl, you want to speak on my name when I say nothing about you? Well, baby, let's have at it. Sha lit the fuck up. She said, look, I'm not a fan, but your, you and your sister invite me to damn near everything. I'm a fan, but you paid me for promotion for your partially owned skincare company. And lie on your product to boost the sales. Jesus. <laughs> Shy. 
Stop it now. Hey, since you want to downplay other creators, let's talk about how I pulled up to your crib to speak to you and come to realize you and your fam, all y'all live together. I'm like, wait a minute, no they don't. I thought they bought a house for her and her sister. If I had to go five, if I had to go five way on a mortgage, <laughs> I could buy a Rolls Royce too. <laughs> Shut what the fuck? Stop! She said, y'all always try to make female creators feel bad. Shit, Taylor girls are making music since I was in elementary. It's, a, it's about time. <laughs> Thing that I'm really done with this because I'm like this is really pissing me off, right? Okay, cool. So Ty wanna post the fact that I could pull up her crib unannounced, whatever the case may be, right? So I was at a cookout or whatever, and somebody was like, Oh yeah, woo the woo, we know them. Um, they live next door. They literally live right next door to this house that they that told me, Oh, this is where they live at, right? So, you know, me, you know what I'm saying, me think we cool since you invited me to every mother thing. Um, you know, I called Ty, I was like, um, hey girl, FaceTime there. I was like, oh, I'm in your neighborhood, showed her the neighborhood. I said, um, I want to come through, say what's up to the fam, and I, I ain't see the crib yet, woo the woo. So she like, oh yeah, girl, I'm going to be home in an hour. This is literally what she said, and I quote, yeah, girl, I'll be home in an hour, you can come, woo the woo. So I'm like, okay, cool. Y'all, like three, four hours pass, right? Three, four hours pass. My boyfriend like, all right, let's go, you finna go. So I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Let me go to the house real quick. It's been past the hour mark that she said she was going to be here. And let me just go say what's up. I get to the crib or whatever. I look in the driveway. Just make sure this really does. I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? I see like four or five cars in the driveway. Um, I see both top cars in the driveway. And I see her mama car, her daddy car, and I think her sister car. So I go up to the door, y'all. Mind y'all, the door is like a glass door. You literally can see everything. It's like a little blurry glass door that you can like see everything in. So I knock on the door, right? Somebody walking towards the door, looking, trying to see who it is. Nobody opened the door. So it was her little brother at first. So I'm like, okay, yeah, he a kid. He probably not going to open the door. Then her little sister, her younger sister, younger sister came up to the door. She didn't open the door. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe a parent out home. So they're not trying to open the door. So I knock again. Her daddy come, her daddy um get up from the living room. Her mama come downstairs with a robo, robo, bonnet. Yeah, yeah, she lit there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, oh, shit, like a whole bunch of people live here. I thought it was just Thai and Asia. Like they had a child. They try to kick it to the ground like it's just them two living there. Your mama come downstairs with a robo, robo, bonnet, yeah. Yeah, she lit there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, oh, shit, like a whole bunch of people live here. I thought it was just Thai and Asia. Like they had a child. They try to kick it to the ground like it's just them two living there. You know what I'm saying? It's no biggie, baby. Like, it's all good in the hood. But it's just like, my thing is, we was cool back in the day. You get what I'm saying? These past couple of days, these past couple of weeks, y'all invited me to everything y'all have. So my mind, I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? We damn near grew up together. I knew Shadi since I was in middle school. Let's start there. So you know what I'm saying? She know where I live at. I, I used to know where she live at. So I'm like, it's no biggie. So if a motherfucker is in the neighborhood... Why not pop up and be like, hey, can I come? Or I'm about to be on the way. I just want to come by and say, what's up? That's normal fucking tendencies. I don't like how she tried to f it. It seemed like I was just such a fan. They come in and out. FaceTime you. And I wish I should have oozed. To this day, I'm praying to God. I'm wishing I should have. I wish I would have texted your ass. Because it would have been in fine motherfucking print. Bitch. Oh, yeah. you like, oh, yeah. You can come. I'll be home in an hour. I was just out running. And I don't agree with her. If you invite me to your house and tell me you're going to be there in a few hours and if I'm in the area and I'm waiting and then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, you might've forgot. I'm just gonna go on and pop up. And if you look in the video, there was somebody shadow moving in the house. So shot ain't lying. Y'all told that girl to come over. She looked in and people in the house moving around. If you didn't want her to come, you should have said, I don't want company. The girl didn't just pop up. But anyway, shot. Oh, this is a whole lot of, whole lot of, I feel like that would be a good fight. Ty and, Sh and Shada Grady, oh, bitch. So then baby Deja come out and let the girls know that she has her um, baby shower coming up. And then try everything dies down. You know, all the fussing, all the talking, all the, all this, all the, all that. And then honey, that's why you gotta be careful what you say about people. Child, they mess with the wrong one. They say don't mess with the child of God. Shy had just said, God gonna humble y'all. 
if you don't stop what you doing and treating people the way you treating them and then baby not even 24 hours later Deja post this the only reason I'm on here right now is because I just want y'all to value your life value your life I almost just got in a very bad car accident this guy swerved in my leg head first I missed him by an inch Y'all missed him by one inch. Just some good things might happen for me and my family. But just please, please pay attention because I could have been gone just five seconds ago. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't trying to say karma came knocking, but baby, this time it was really something. I believe Shalom, she too connected to Jesus, honey, because ain't no way she just said that and this shit happened. And Deja wasn't even involved with none of the bullshit. And she helped jump in and help. You know what? I'm a husband. I ain't been talking about nothing because I don't want nothing to happen to me. So anyway, that is what it is. Everything done shut down after that. After that accident, everything got silent. The girl said, I ain't talking about shit. And I don't blame you. So, child, it is what it is. Girl, y'all better leave that friendship where it is. Because I don't know if Kayla over there doing hoodoo voodoo and then shot over there text talking to Jesus. And I don't know what the fuck going on, but I'm not in it because I don't want shit coming on. Bam! So, the girls is quiet, but it is what it is. So, if it ain't about me, let's keep getting it. Guys! All right, y'all. Y'all done stressed me out enough for this week. Everybody just everywhere doing everything that they ain't got no business fucking doing. Follow my Instagram and follow my Twitter. Stay messy. Next case. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on.